Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show, everybody let's go, check out my video, if you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another Delicious Bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. The sun is shining and it is beautiful. And even with everything that is going on, dear Lord, it is still a beautiful day that you have made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, I thank you for blessing my friends, family, and subscribers. I thank you, Father God, for this meal. Make it nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for everything, every single day. Amen. So you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and today we got a kind of sort of a clean out the refrigerator kind of meal day. You know what's going to happen because we can't really get out and get everything we want all the time right now. So this is a chicken tortilla kind of taco soup. That's what it is, and that's what we're eating. <laughs> I had... Um, Rotisserie chicken left over. Let me let you get your bite. Hold on, I was about to take my bite. I had um, ground beef left over from nachos. So, I combined what I had with chicken and beef and pico and onions Added a little bit of rice, some chicken broth, some rotel, um, spicy tomatoes. And this is what's for dinner. Y'all knew it was going to be. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's hot. I can't even talk. That rotel kicked in. Oh, I know what's hot. I put the um, jalapeno peppers in it, too. <laughs> but it's good. Put some cheese on top. Mm -hmm. mm. It was supposed to have corn in it. But with the rice in it, and eating the tortilla chips, I felt like that was enough as far as carbs go. Still working on the tea, you guys. I bought a gallon, so it's going to take a minute to get through it. See, there's jalapenos in here. I don't know if you can see them. So, it's a little... <coughs> Get you, cut you at the throat. <laughs> mm. Still good, though. I'll put the rest of this cheese in here. Yes, we shall. So how's your day today? I hope you all had a nice day today. I hope you enjoyed some of the sun. It's a hair somewhere. I'm telling you, there's always a hair. You guys, I was trying to find my, my big glass bowl because it would be a better presentation. You could see everything, but I don't know what that bowl is. Mm. 
Not talking a whole lot. One, I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to talk about. A few little things here and there, but not a whole lot. It is after six, and I'm just now getting to dinner because I work 12 to six today. I work 12 noon to 6 p.m., which is not my normal shift, but we're not in normal times right now, so work what you got to work. Still got bills to pay. Just grateful and blessed to work, so. Those are the hours I had to work today. And tomorrow I'm back on my 5.32. Mm. Comment down below if it stormed where you live. Because my daughter said it stormed like crazy last night. goes my runny nose. Now this is spicy so I understand why my nose is running. But typically when I sit down and eat it runs anyway. Hold on. I'm not going to do that on camera but my nose is running. Hold on family. Alright my loves I am back. And this time I do remember what I was talking about before I left. <laughs> I was talking about the storm. that I slept straight through. Didn't even know it was storming. That's that good, safe in the arms of God sleep right there. Because I didn't know nothing about nothing. I was out. My daughter said it stormed bad. She said it rained. She said it was some hail, some thunder, some lightning. She said some pretty good sized um, pieces of hail. And she said that people's power was out. And I think somewhere in Ohio, Brunswick, Ohio, a tornado touched down. So, I pray for that city because in the midst of everything else, we got a tornado too. So, I pray everybody in Brunswick is okay. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you what. This leftover potluck thrown together chicken taco tortilla soup. Hmm. You know your way around the kitchen. You can make anything taste good. Leftovers as well. Because I will put some new life into a leftover in a minute. Ain't nothing going to waste around here. Mm -mm. It tastes good to me. Thank you so much to everyone who watched my video yesterday. 
Thank you for all the wonderful comments you left me. I do enjoy talking with you guys in the comments section. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video today. Thank you to KC Connection, my sis, for shouting me out on her channel. She's just as sweet as she can be. You guys have no idea, or maybe you do, but check her out. KC Connection, check her out, check her out. She has really been a blessing to me, and I thank God for her. Let's see, call myself being fancy. Added that rotel in here, that spicy rotel. And then added some leftover um, jalapeno peppers I had. That was a little bit too much because this is this is hot. <laughs> but it tastes so good though. Even with the heat, it's still good. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, I need some movies to watch. Some good, uplifting, encouraging movies. Leave me some comments so I can um, find some good movies. Mmm. Yes. Yummy, yummy. Mm. That's a big bowl, y'all. It's not deep bowl. Well, yeah, medium, I guess. But it's a big bowl. My daughter had her meal posted on Facebook today over there eating crab legs. I'm like, okay. You gonna wait till we all on uh, gonna wait till we're all on lockdown. You know, can't go nowhere and decide you're gonna eat some crab legs because you know I can't come get some. I got you. I 
No, good enough. She was over here every Sunday tearing my crab legs up. Crab, lobster, shrimp, mussels. She gonna wait. It's okay. Nobody get to her and pop her crab legs out. Okay, though. Nose is running. I'm sorry. I got to do it. And we're back. Mm -mm -mm. Now, my youngest daughter would eat this. Sheena wouldn't eat it. She doesn't like um, chicken. And every now and then she can handle a little ground beef. But she's like me, eat too much of it. Messes with our stomach. But I'm going to eat it today because I'm not wasting... No food. That's just going to be the chance I take. I'm eating it. Mm -hmm. mm. Adding the tortilla chips, giving it a little bit of crunch. Normally, if I make a chicken tortilla kind of soup, I like Fritos, but I don't have any Fritos, and I'm not going to get no Fritos. We got tortilla chips. And they are eating right nicely My daughter, my oldest daughter, said that she was still cooking for Easter for the immediate people that live in her house where she is right now. But she said she would make me a to-go plate and I could pick it up if I wasn't going to cook. But I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Not cooking a, a huge meal like I normally would do, of course. But I am celebrating Easter in my house. Whether it be by myself, like it has to be this year or whatever, I am still going to celebrate the fact that Jesus rose from the grave. So, I'll be over here doing my own little Easter thing, but it will happen. Easter is not canceled. Y'all can cancel everything else, but you can't cancel Easter in my house. You can't cancel my joy. And you can't cancel the fact that I'm going to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. It's going to be some Easter over here. Last bite, y'all. Last delicious bite. Well, 
not last bite. There's one more bite. <laughs> mm. Yum. 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 Grace cards. I'm telling you, God is working. Do you hear me? Whether we can see it or whether we can't see it, but I pray that you can. He is working. He is working. Because every time I pull a card, I feel like it is so appropriate for what is going on. Like, not just the bug, but just the time. You'll know when I read the card what I'm talking about. So this comes from Jonathan Edwards. Grace is but glory begun, and glory is but grace perfected. Jonathan Edwards. Now, this is from Anonymous, and it's just so perfect for resurrection season. It wasn't the rope or the nails that kept Jesus on the cross. It was his love for you and I. Amen. Amen. Because you know if he wanted to get down off that cross, he could have. But he didn't. He did all that for us. And I'm going to just leave that right there. Because if I get into a long, big old discussion about my feelings about that, I'm going to be crying. But just know, the rope and the nails didn't keep him on the cross. His love for us kept him on the cross. Let that marinate in your brain. Think about that. I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, and I hope you do, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites, and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. Burp is coming. Excuse me. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, be safe, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.